What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is DigiBoGD, and welcome to a Let's Try of Project Hospital. Project Hospital is a tycoon strategy kind of game in which you build your own hospital. The developer of this game gave me a copy for us to try out and show you guys what the game is like. As always, all comments and all opinions are my own. They are not sponsored by the developers. So, uh... Let's uh, jump right in. This is the first time I play this game. I booted it up. I haven't tried anything. So let's just start off with a tutorial. Hi boss. We're having some staff issues at the clinic. Could you help us with a few patients? Oh, don't worry. I'll remind you how, every how everything works. First, let's have a closer look to see what's going on. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can zoom in out. You forgot and developers with the mouse wheel and pen by holding down the middle mouse button. Let's uh, give it a try. Yes, we can. WASD is moving around. This is not panning though. This is moving freely. You can notice that all walls are up. Kind of blocking the view. Change the view to your liking. Ooh, it's like the Sims. Yeah, excellent. Now select the patient who's been patiently waiting for us in the doctor's office. Patient who's patiently waiting. Well, I guess that's you. This is the patient's card. It will give you all the important information and you can control what happens with your patients from here. On the right side, you'll find the history of the last six selected characters. Okay. If you click the, por the portrait of any character, the camera will center on them. Good to know. You can choose who is responsible for your patients. Either you let your staff take care of them or you can take over the directly. Take over directly. Let's keep this patient under your control. Okay. The upper part of the card shows you the patient's personal data and department assignments. The needs panel on the right shows the satisfaction level and you can see the character's perks and quirks below that. Lisa Foster going to the doctor. I can see that. Not hungry. Slight need. Discomfort. No discomfort. Okay. Satisfaction is high. Moves much faster. Fast metal is hunger is increasing much faster. And no hidden perks, okay. Next The next panel shows all possible diagnoses that match the patient's known symptoms. Ordered from the most likely one. Selecting a diagnosis will set it as a final one. The symptoms panel shows all revealed and hidden symptoms. On the left, you can see the doctor. See the doctor the patient is currently assigned to. Headache, fever, nasal congestion, dry cough, fatigue, and one hidden symptom. Ooh. This is the examination panel where you can order examination to reveal what the sy hidden symptoms are. Try to select a nasal cavity inspection to reveal enough in symptoms so there is only one possible diagnosis left. Okay. This is the examination panel where you can order examination. Oh, wait. Hold on. We did that. We did that. Now we'll wait. I like the style of this game. It has a real comic-y feel to it. You know, like 80s cartoons almost. I, I like it. I dig it. Okay. Let's see what happened. Wash your hands. Good girl. Good girl. Headache is the missing... Oh, nasal obstruction. 
Scheduled procedures have finished. Last was natal cavity inspection. The patient is waiting for you to plan another examination or select a diagnosis. You can see which finished examination revealed a symptom. The one that did are highlighted in green. There's nothing highlighted in green. Now go ahead and select the one diagnosis that's left. Sinusitis. Inflammation of one or more sinuses. Now nothing can stop us from treating the patients. You can hover over the icon of your selected diagnosis to see a tooltip which will suggest the correct treatment. Go ahead and choose the treatment. Saline nasal spray, okay. Good job, you treated your first patient. Depending on the selected treatment, your patient will either be cured or might return later with new symptoms. Click next button. What? Click next to continue the tutorial. Okay, that was patient one. Not patient zero, patient one. Let's move to the next patient. Click the patient that is sitting in the GP's office. Is that you? Okay. You probably noticed earlier that some examinations are not available. Great. They need special rooms or equipment. If you mouse over the great icon, a tooltip will tell you what is missing. In this case, we are missing both the room and a lab technologist to be able to run the x-ray. There's a tool that... Wait, where is that? Um, required room, x-ray room, not available. Technologies unavailable. Okay. There's a tooltip with extra information for every icon in every category. That's a lot of tooltips. So for now, let us fix the hospital real quick. Ha! Huh. Now everything should be in order when you open the patient card again. You can now select the available examination. Yes, x-ray back. If you want to be kept in the loop, you must keep the patient under your care or you're in your favorites. The same icon switches between all the modes. Remove, rename character, pin cards, don't want to be automatically closed. How do we get? Oh, here. Okay. Right now, the patient is under your care just as we want. The card can be closed by the X in the upper right corner, or you can pin them if you would like to keep an eye on the patient every step of the way. Next. The examination will take some time. You can fast forward the game using the controls in the middle of the main panel. Uh, oh, here. Okay. Fast forward. Let's do an x-ray. Lab procedure uncovered a symptom. Goliotic findings. The examination and x-ray reveals abnormal curvature of the spine. Huh, scoliosis. Oh, that sucks. You can change the way how you want to receive notification by switching it to pop-up or log in the lower left corner of the message window. By clicking OK, you can close the notification. I did. You can reopen the mes message from the log panel on the bottom right. OK. Thank you for your help. We can take over from here so you can return to your duties. All right. Hello. Okay, that was the first tutorial. Let's uh, do another one. Build a functional clinic. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Welcome to this nice property we recently acquired. Let's look at let's look at how to build and equip your very own hospital and what options there are. 
All right, let's build a nice little clinic first. Let's switch to building mode. Let's, let's, let's. You can click the button in the top left corner of the screen or just press the F6 key. Let's do F6. I like shortcuts. The first important step is laying down foundations. The foundation tool is selected already. Cover an area big enough to house at least three rooms. Minimum 20 by 20. Ooh. I like how this is working. Okay, let's uh, go right up here. And let's do... Let's do 25 by 25. Let's let's be let's let's throw it around a little. Excellent. Now here's a quick summary of what's available to build. There are five main categories: foundations, constructions, doors and windows, objects and prefabs. Okay. Each category is further divided into subcategories. Don't forget there's a tooltip for each category and item with more info. Of course there is. Is there a tooltip here? Oh, here's a tooltip. Okay, now we have a place to build. We need to design our floor plan. Floor, floor plan. Floor plan. Our floor plan. The very basic unit of every hospital is an emergency. It's an emergency. Please select logistics mode to see which room will definitely need to make the department operational. Uh, management mode. Okay, we need all of this. The list, the list is divided between mandatory and optional rooms. Let's place all three rooms. These are needed for a working clinic. Okay, let's do the GP's office first. Oh no, let's do a waiting room first. Place a patient to wait before getting a sound. Needs to be close to GP servers. That lap. Okay, let's um. Okay, here's the waiting room. Now we'll build. Now we'll build in GP's office. One, two, in between. Okay, can we build the restrooms? Over here. Well done! With the floor plans done, let's build some walls! You can find them in the building mode under construction category. Okay, let's go to build. Construction. White walls. Great! Walls are often not required for the rooms to function, but some objects need to be hanged on a wall. Let's just uh, wall everything off. Okay. Can we divide this into two? Because I want a man and female and female room. I technically. Technically, didn't have to roll in the waiting area, but I wanted to. Okay, next. You can choose what color wall. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I did white walls. You can also library table floor, doors and windows. You're happy. You can have uh, floors, doors and windows. Okay, um, and... Uh, Doors and windows. Okay, um, do we need a main entrance? Oh, we don't need a main entrance. Okay, so let's do a waiting room door over here. Double door window. Double door window. Let's do the window door over here. And let's do the WC door. One here and one here. Okay, um, do I want windows? Let's see. Watch window, window. Solid glass wall. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay, let's place you there. Now that's fancy, isn't it? Okay, let's do next. 
Let's focus on furnishing the rooms now. Simply click on the floor of any new room. Okay. Waiting room. Now the panel shows furniture and equipment that is either mandatory, orange, or optional. Yellow. Is this orange and is this yellow? I think so. You can rotate options by pressing R or middle mouse button or cancel selection by right mouse button. Okay. Some objects need additional equipment to work. In the object is seen is yellow. You can hover over it and see what equipment it needs. It will be blue in the equipment panel. Can we do that? I think everything is working. Okay. Now equip your rooms. Alrighty then. Let's equip our rooms. Let's um put some benches in here. Ooh, that worked perfectly. Okay. Can I... Oh, cool. Okay, I want to move you over one. You. Okay. Come on. I clicked on you. Okay. There we go. That's the waiting room. Um, Info TV. Let's hang that there. And one over here. Queuing machine. Hmm, let's have you there. Ooh, vending machine. Oh, 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 I ha uh, I didn't leave any room for the vending machine. Let's place one here and place one there. And what are the dispenser? We'll put... I don't know. We'll put it over here somewhere. No, let's leave that out. Okay. Now, GP's office. Why can't we do this? Ball Mountain Equipment. Mandatory. Okay. Oh, this is orange, this is yellow, and this is... Uh, see if it fits in there. So, exam table. Put that over there. Biohazard trash bin. Right there. And no. CRP scan. I don't know what you do, but you need to be on the table. Desinfication. Right there. Equipment cabinet. Right there. Can we put you on top of that? We can. Oh, yes, we are learning things. Let's do another cabinet. And now we want examination lamp. Right there. Eye test. Nice. Let's put that over there. Kitchen sink that needs... Let's put a lap sink in. Right there. Medical lights. Let's do double lights. Live a little. Mobile equipment cabinet. Let's put you there. Paper holder. Very important, of course, for all our paperwork. But now we need a new equipment cabinet for that. Let's put the paper holder on here. Office desk. There, okay, PC, there, printer, there, office chair, there, oh my 
God, we we are working, we are working with things and stuff and stuff and things and 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 gib gibberish. Square table. There and there and there, because we need some more equipment. Audio meter on here. EMG on here. Spirometer on there. Let's put a stool right here so the doctor can set a bookcase so he looks smart. Right there. And a cabinet with drawers so it looks like he has a lot of medication. And oh, wait, there's more. Dressing screen, we'll put that right there. I don't know, we are filling up everything. Let's put that there. Oxygen tank, very important, let's keep that around. Another privacy screen, we'll put that, I don't know. Here. Small card, stainless steel stand, we'll put you. Next to the stool, and that should be our GP's office. Awesome. Okay, um, yeah. Can I get some dividers in here? Let's see, um, let's go to equipment first. Okay, can I put some walls in here? Give people a little privacy. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough privacy for you. Um. Let's put a hand dryer right next to the door. Let's put a mirror on this wall. A sink right there. Plastic hamster trash bin. You can go over there. Okay. And we'll put a small bathroom in here. This can be the ladies' room, no, the men's room. With a sink. Right there. Trash bin, we'll take a square one now. Okay. The optional equipment usually contains decorating. Okay, next. Now let's have a look at the last category and a great time saver prefabs. Select the prefabs category in the building mode. Um, pre ooh, prefabs, nice. Now you can see the different rooms divided by departments. Choose any of the prefabs and place them into an unoccupied area in your clinic. Okay, emergency, we have GPs, let's do common room. One, two. Huh, nice. Okay, we have restroom, restroom, on call room. Let's do an on call room. Can we switch that around? Ooh, we can. One, two, I want that one there. Common rest. Nurse station. Okay, that has a door on that side, so I can fit perfectly right here. So we will do that. Cleaning closet. Ooh, let's uh, turn you around and let's put you right here. 
Oh, yeah. Anything new? X-ray room. We do need that. This prefab is not allowed at the active department. Okay, what's a CAG room? Okay, we cannot put you in CT, cannot MRI, we cannot put you in. Okay, I guess that's it for now. Next. Well done. This part is finished. Woohoo! We are nailing it. So, we have learned how to treat people. We have learned how to build our hospital. We're halfway there. We only need two more tutorials. And we will do that in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more Project Hospital. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.